Hi Scorpio, the Magnetic Tarot, and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. We can take a look at the cards. The cards can be our own GPS to help us navigate the events and the energies of the month. So let's see what the cards would like to tell us. Okay, so for the first two cards, I choose two cards for awareness. So a general sense of awareness for the week. Okay, so we begin with the world. And the world is a card of completion. It's a card of whatever path or projects or goals that you've been pursuing that you will successfully fulfill them and reach them. And you feel pretty good about it. You are celebrating. You are being recognized. You are feeling content. You know, what you do contributes to the world and every little bit makes the world what it is. And with the world card, there's a sense here that, you know, even though this uh, immediate project or a long-term project has ended, it doesn't mean that you stop. This is now, now you're going to start a new cycle. You're going to think of something else to achieve, something else to do. So the world is about a uh, goal or a, a dream, perhaps, that you've been working toward and you've gone through adversity, you've gone through what you've needed to go through, and you have been successful. So with this very positive card, we also have a sense for the week, an awareness that there's something that is upsetting to you. This five of cups, you know, we see the cloaked figure standing. He looks dejected. He's looking at the spilled cups. He doesn't see the cups behind him, but there's a sense he's very much in the moment of thinking about something that's missing, either feeling regret. So you may be feeling regret. You simply may be feeling sad. There may be a situation that didn't work out in your favor. And there's some uh, grief attached to that. It's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel disappointed when things don't work out. Or something, uh, an outcome that you wanted didn't quite work out the way that you wanted it to. This is a card, again, of perspective. You see the cups that are spilled, but if he could turn around and look at the cups that are still full, he has something to work with. There's still something there to, to move forward. And really, that's uh, a very important thing to be aware of, which is, yes, we have disappointments. We have things perhaps that are on our mind that we can't uh, seem to shake. But if we process them and if we use them as life lessons, and if we can change how we think to think about what we still have and if we're grateful for that then we can continue on so for guidance i'm going to choose two cards put these here a little bit easier to see Ooh, interesting. So for guidance, we have the star and we have the five of pentacles. So there is, despite you being recognized and despite having success, there is something that is hurting your heart and causing you to feel a sense of lack or a sense of uh, regret maybe despair, and the star shows up in these moments when, when we have struggles or when we have adversity. We have tough times. 
The star is there to tell you to have faith in the outcome, to believe that the universe will ultimately take care of you. It's up to you, however, to, um, to make yourself feel better. And when we look at the stars, we get inspired or we look for guidance. And there's a sense here of vulnerability. So you've been vulnerable and perhaps you've been hurt. Something has triggered you. She's pouring water into the pond. She's pouring water onto the, the earth. And there's this marriage of spiritual and physical sense, which is to find the balance. And the star is about this passive mindset, really, of, of getting rest and getting yourself back to a healthy place of thinking and a physical healthy self as well, which is to take care of yourself. And so this star is turning up because here, along with this five of sore, five of cups, excuse me, we have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles, we see this hard luck couple. They're oblivious. They're walking right past the five pentacles in the stained glass window. That they are struggling having a really hard time and they can't even notice that there may be help nearby. And again, I would say that with minor arcana cards that these are times when we don't feel well, we may feel stressed out, we may feel exhausted. We may feel that people are not giving us the support that we need. And the star would tell you to have faith and if you, again, just like the Five of Cups, if you change your perspective, if you look to the left here, you see the, the building with the pentacles here, that there's help just around the corner. So the guidance would be to take care of yourself. Don't lose your faith. And, um, you know, you will get past the struggling time. Let's see if I could set these up better. Okay, and then for possible outcomes for the week. Okay, so the Hierophant, possible outcomes. The Hierophant deals with traditions, with conventions of society. He is a uh, respected figure, and you can see he has the two disciples at his feet, and he is powerful, and he is knowledgeable. So whether you're getting assistance or help from the church, someone in the church, a clergyman, a priest, a pastor, or you are meeting with someone who is wise, that you consider wise. There's a sense here of, of um, dealing with the structures of, of society and of the community at large, and a sense of following that path. The, uh, what I always think of with the Hierophant is I think of, again, Someone who is willing to help. Someone who is there to provide a sense of peace to others through the communication of ex expectations of groups, societies, what have you. So, you know, this may be saying to the one way of getting help is to go to a familiar and a trusted source in your life. And then we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, we see the man here sitting underneath the tree, looking at the Three Cups in front of him. And again, he's oblivious to the little hand, the puff hand here, 
which actually, if you tip it this way, it looks like a man's face in the cloud. He's not seeing that cup. And it's, again, it's perspective, and it is paying attention to, you know, paying attention to everything around you and having awareness and being open. His, his arms are shut. This is often a card of feeling discontent, of feeling dissatisfied, or needing solitude to think about things. And when we are able to think about things and to be grateful for what we have and to keep our eyes open and our chest open and our hearts open, then we're going to see more possibilities. We're going to see more opportunities. So in terms of outcomes, uh, to be aware. Be aware of what is uh, going around you. You might be missing opportunities. And if you need time alone to sort things out, to think things out, there's no harm in that, particularly after seeing some of these very interesting cards here. But don't get too stuck here. You know, get yourself back into uh, the routine, into, the so into society, honestly. And here's the Hierophant, which is bringing, I think, a sense of experience and wisdom to you in whatever traditional setting uh, that you take comfort in. So let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. release. I think that's pretty telling. To release. And when we let go of our emotions that are um, uh, keeping us in a, in a dark spot or in a difficult place, then it's much more liberating when we're able to release uh, perhaps the perceptions of others when we're able to express joy and happiness and feeling fulfilled from with the, the world here, then you know, we'll have, you've earned it, earned that release. So there are several ways that we can look at the word release, but I really feel that the release goes to this sense of the Five of Cups, which is uh, a sense of loss or disappointment or regret. And the Five of Pentacles, which is often a, a poverty consciousness or a feeling of lack, lack of support, lack of resources. You know, you have to change your perspective. You have to turn your head to see the cups here, to see the pentacles here, and to see the hand with the cup. So I'd also like to pull a card for emotional or spiritual self. Let's get a little more information for this. It's a clear message. Vulnerable. Bit, vul <laughs> see if I can say it vulnerability. This is a confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. And it's really, it's a, it's a position of strength in many ways because when you're open and allowing yourself the possibility of getting hurt, then it strengthens you because that's another life experience that you add and that you put into your book of life. And it helps you for the next time that either someone disappoints you or a situation uh, is uh, hurtful. So we see the vulnerability of and the strength of being without clothes here, willing to take whatever 
uh, there is. So vulnerability. And finally, let's choose an oracle for love. Almost came out, but didn't. Cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. It often goes to, cause and effect goes to how we think. And again, how we perceive and uh, when we have an honest, an honest sense of ourselves and what we do. And we're real with ourselves and that uh, we can appreciate the consequences of, of perhaps our actions or the way that we think. And I would say that uh, the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change. And so when we look at the five of pentacles, it's a lot of hurt in this, in this illustration of the people suffering. But it takes the, it just takes a moment of looking in a different perspective and that it may turn things around for you and uh, be a positive horizon. And the same thing with the Five of Cups as well as the Four of Cups of um, allowing ourselves to feel this but then having to make a shift in how we view things. So Scorpio such a week, right? Listen, I hope that you have a wonderful week and I hope that it is um, soothing and peaceful for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment and check out some of my other readings and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.